it's funny because last chapter, someone said that watch chapter 1002 be better than chapter 1001 and Brock was going to go crazy. And crazy I did go because this chapter... <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. It was insane. First things first. I am really surprised that Oda has maintained this level of consistency in regards to just staying in one area. Normally, Oda jumps around and he does it really well, but he jumps around. We have been on the rooftop for what, three chapters now? No, or really two and a half, but these chapters have been really damn good good i had expectations going into it right i had some good expectations because i'm like i want the chapter to be really good and i want to really enjoy it i want us to stay on the rooftop i'm like we can't stay here forever right but after chapter 1002 i i really hope we stay here forever but i, I know we can i know we can but i really want us to stay here forever we're gonna go through the chapter and talk about some major things that happened because this chapter even though it was it felt so short a lot happened to the point where i'm like we had a discussion about it and it was just so many things we were talking about again we're gonna go through it it's not the official translation so we're gonna be as you know casual as possible once the official comes out then we go in depth and dissect things and really pick at things or find things we can we can really go in depth about i just just said that twice but that's exactly what i mean right but if you're here for the first time make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more content like this we do this damn near every day and i would certainly appreciate it but without further ado let's talk about one piece chapter 1002 uh, yanko versus the supernova or empress versus the new generation same thing right the chapter starts out with a flex where kaido is using his wind attack and we got a name for it well in the scans at least it's called destructive wind and it showed each of the supernova dealing with this attack for zoro he just brushed it aside for law he teleported for Kid, he just took it and said, well, this is all metal, so I don't care about it anyway. I can just reattach myself, pretty much. For Killer, he dodged it. For Luffy, he dodged it. And I think this was really important to talk about or to show just how their personalities are, right? Maybe looking too much into it, but I don't care. This chapter got me happy. With Kid just taking that attack, it's no wonder he's missing an arm. Like, he's like, oh, it's just metal anyway. I can just reattach. I'm like, bro, the last time you did this, you lost an arm, right? Like, you have one arm. It makes a lot of sense. Like, his metal, that really doesn't matter. But Killer, worrying about Kid taking the attack is interesting. But Zoro, bam, didn't care about it. Just brushed it aside casually. Reminded me of Big Mom in the anime. When she sent an attack to Kaido, Kaido sent the attack back. And then Big Mom just, with one hand, brushed off her own attack. I'm like, this woman is incredible. And that happened this chapter where I was like, this woman is incredible. But I really liked how each of the supernova were able to deal with that. And one of my favorite attacks from this chapter was Luffy's red rifle, which is a brand new attack. When Luffy looked like he was doing an uppercut, it was like red rifle. And you can see the, the basically that it actually affected Kaido. And we were talking about this as well in regards to Rio. And we were basically saying that Rio is being used by Luffy. It's just not being shown because at the end of the day, it's hockey, right? And for the anime, it's going to be really clear when Rio is being used. But for Luffy, we can surmise if Kaido is being hurt, Luffy's using using Rio because this chapter and some of last chapters basically letting us know that okay Luffy has a way to hurt Kaido but the other individuals they have their own way again like I mentioned there's more than one way to skin a cat this is Oda telling us that Luffy even though he set himself apart these people are keeping up and that's what this chapter told us so Okay, let's talk about more of the chapter. It's just so many amazing things, right? Because from Law going to finding Kaido's heart or trying to find it saying, you know what, I've never dissected a dragon before, but I think your heart should be around here. Gamma Knife, that was really surprising. I did not expect Law to use Gamma Knife this quickly because again, Gamma Knife to a lot of us was Law's ultimate attack and Law has used Gamma Knife. So what's next? Is Law gonna use... I'm not even going to go there. I'm not even going to go there. Not gonna I mentioned Luffy's Kong rifle, and I think this was kind of disappointing, but before I get to that, I got to talk about Killer and Killer's Sonic attack. Killer's attack, Sonic Scythe. I think one of the more beautiful attacks I've ever seen in One Piece because it showed the blade going along Kaido's body, but we know that's not actually happening, but because it's a sound attack, it's pretty much a visual representation of what Kaido is feeling at the time. So I thought that was amazing, and the fact that it hurt Kaido, of course, is building a killer hype. And and for me, in this chapter, I'm going to name my MVP and my most improved player of, you know, the chapters. I'm going to spoil it right now. Killer was my most improved, okay? I think chapter after chapter after chapter, Killer, I think in his past chapters in Onigashima, Killer has been showing that he's a lot more competent than we thought. And, you know, that battle versus Zoro, even though I think Zoro would have won anyway, would have been a lot closer if he had had his weapons. He even said that. And seeing attacks like these in which Killer can actually hurt a Yonko, that's very interesting 
interesting. So then it goes back to like, why did Killer say that, you know, with Luffy using Ryo, we f we may have a chance. But something that disappointed me, right? And it disappointed a lot of people after seeing my rea uh, seeing their reaction to the chapters and people talking about it was Kid. I saw somebody say Brago really hates Kid and I'm like, I hate Kid. I've made several videos defending Kid, telling people to wait and see what Kid does. And in this chapter, Kid, even though what he did, taking the attack, just shows how reckless he is. The thing that disappointed people was the fact that Kid, he just slammed Kaido. There was nothing creative about what he's doing. He seems to be a bruiser or a brawler just like Luffy, but he's not as innovative as Luffy. Of course, okay, it's really cool that he can create a suit of armor, which a lot of people expected. Not in this way, but people thought that he could use metal and manipulate it how we wanted to but we expected something a bit deeper i want to say this it is not over the fight is basically still in its beginning stages right so for kid there's a lot of time it's just that seeing what other people are doing is really not stacking up to be honest what killer did in this chapter is more impressive than anything kid did against kaido ever from what we've seen punk gibson is cool punk vice is cool but that solar scythe or sonic scythe scythe dastardly right beautiful amazing so kid i'm still holding out hope gotta stuff it up brother i think somebody else that was really impressive this chapter was big mom because big mom basically saved kaido but before that i think big mom using her attack heavenly dominion shiva's wrath where big mom essentially was moving like an l she was doing things like what we've seen from an l using lightning bolts to just strike these people down having sentient beings work with her when she's doing these attacks big mom was looking amazing now in the reaction i was maybe i got ahead of myself a little bit by saying i'm putting kaido beneath big mom now it's just one chapter i'm not gonna do that right but what i'm saying is big mom even alerted kaido to what big goat zoro did but we'll get to big goat zoro and big mom she's not being attacked by everyone right now kaido is the target everyone is going after kaido so you know it makes sense that he's going to be looking a bit worse but big mom is showing more keen battle sense i think but again she's not being attacked so we gotta we gotta wait and see but i was really loving everything big mom was doing here even a quote saying there'll be no escape under the heavens big mom was just flexing this chapter but we got to talk about probably the biggest flex of them all. And that is Roanoa Zoro. <laughs> okay. Everybody's doing their attacks, right? And then all of a sudden, here comes Zoro with a one sword style. His flying dragon blade is the same attack he used against Ryuma. Now, something I want you guys to understand is that a Yonko told another Yonko to dodge the attack because that sword was not a regular sword. And Big Mom realized just how destructive this sword would be and told Kaido to dodge it. This is the only attack that everyone or Kaido has dodged in the story, okay? The only attack, of course, is Enma. We know what Enma did to him in the past. So I'm waiting to see when Kaido realizes the sword that Zoro is using, what is he going to say? But Zoro came through, he missed, he missed. But this shows us that Zoro has the ability to tap into power that can really cause damage to Kaido to the point that Big Mom said, little bro, get out the way, do not take that attack. That's significant. That's significant. But even, I, mean, I don't want to go crazy with the Zoro hype because that was very impressive. That was very impressive. But then they also mentioned Odin's aura emanating from the sword. And Big Mom said to Kaido that he was underestimating Zoro. But what I want to ask you guys is how do you interpret that with Odin's aura emanating from the blade? I'm going to give my thoughts at some point, but I want to know how do you guys feel about it? When you read that, how did the mechanics of the blade play out in your mind? What is going on right now with the blade? Because for my headcanon, I think it's really impressive what Zoro is doing right now. And maybe I think personally, Personally, he's not getting enough credit for it based on the mechanics of this blade. The chapter continues, and I think this is showing that Luffy is really built different and set apart from everyone else, where Big Mom is basically knocking everyone out of the sky, but her attack doesn't work on Luffy because, again, he's rubber. Lightning doesn't affect rubber. We saw Killer falling, Law falling, Kid is affected. Luffy got hit with the electricity, doesn't affect him. Then Kaido used Blast Breath, and Luffy goes right through it. Kaido's like, wait, is this some kind of trick? And then people mentioned maybe Luffy's using that Ryo that we saw from, you know, Rayleigh and then the Admirals. But Luffy just said, no, it's just guts because we saw it affected him. But Luffy took the pain, took the blow and went right through it. Gatling, right? 
and the chapter ends there and the chapter felt so short oh my gosh it felt like it was just six pages but man amazing chapter oda is going in right now this final battle between the yonko and the supernova a lot closer than i thought it would be but i'm loving it i don't think it's too crazy anything that's happening we didn't know what kid can do we didn't know what killer can do zoro now has enma luffy's using ryo we know how broken law can be so guys fantastic chapter fantastic but my mvp of the chapter is definitely big mom i think based on how she's been fighting the supernova and just how versatile versatile she is big mom was the mvp of this chapter for me the most improved player was killer where i think killer stock rose the most in this chapter i think what he did with his sonic attack opens the door for very broken attacks because if killer is fighting somebody as a swordsman and his attacks they're damaging you and inflicting damage via sound that my friends could be very destructive so shout out to killer kid took a step back luffy did his thing law did his thing but man this chapter I really cannot wait for everyone to read this chapter. But guys, give me your thoughts. What do you think about the chapter? Make sure to like the video if you did. And if you made it this far, be sure to subscribe for more content like this. Follow me on Twitter at BragoDace. Follow me on Instagram at BragoD.Ace. Thank you to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Guys, again, like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. I start doubting me, I felt lost, I rewrite